Hey guys, welcome back to another Mythic Legions review. We are taking a look at the All-Star Wave 4 PowerCon exclusive figure, Bryophytus. On the back of the package, we have artwork featuring the Aerithere Wave along with some Mythic Legions lore. On the side of the package, we have a picture of Bryophytus along with a few short paragraphs about the figure. All Mythic Legion figures come in collector-friendly packaging, so it's easy to remove the figure without having to tear anything open. Four Horsemen Studios continues its homage to the Master of the Universe with its exclusive convention figures inspired by the show's characters. This figure is inspired by Mossman, a man made of moss with the power to control all plant life. The Mythic Legion's version, Bryophytus, is an orc with the power to absorb and use the power of all plant life around him. He serves as a protector of the hidden lands called the Swale, deep in the territory of Xylona's flock. Bryophytus serves as the prime example of keeping peace and order in a strange land of rarely seen creatures in the outside world. Let's take a look at the detail. The first thing we notice on the head is a thick layer of moss in a variety of greens and yellows. The orcish face has glowing yellow eyes with yellow teeth sticking out of his mouth. The side of the head has more of that moss all around the head with large ears sticking out of the side. On the chest, the moss has covered over most of the muscles on the bare body, covering up any of the detail in the sculpting, but replacing it with more of that crumbly moss. On the back, we have three large sockets that all Mythic Legion figures have. The shoulder sockets will be covering up later in the review. On the shoulder is where we can start to notice the gaps in the moss that the figure has. It's mostly in areas that will be rubbing up against each other in articulation. The forearms are covered in a bronze plate of armor with more of that moss covering up the back of the bare hands. The waist is wrapped in the orange metal belt with the brown fur pelt with decorative rings hanging below. On the side we have large plates of bronze armor protecting the side of the thighs. Underneath the pelt we can get a better look at the thighs seeing here more of the bare figure without the moss. The legs of the figure has more of the bronze colored armor in the standard knight plate design. We finish up the detail of the figure with the foot. Exposed bare, we can see the toes and the dark colored nails with moss covering up the rest of the foot. Let's take a look at the articulation. We have a ball jointed head, arms that open and rotate, elbows that bend and rotate, rotating forearm, wrists that bend up and down and rotate, a ball jointed waist, Legs that open, move forward and back, rotating thighs, knees that bend back, ankles that bend up and down and rotate, and the foot that rotates. Let's take a look at the accessories we get. We get an alternative orc head with a larger beard and noticeably aged. Installing the head is as easy as popping off the original and socketing the new one. We get a pair of shoulders matching the color of the rest of the armor. To install the shoulders, you match the peg with the socket on the back. They can rotate for better shoulder articulation. We get a bronze staff with a twisted piece of wood holding an orb. A bronze colored mace. A small bronze ceremonial dagger with a decorative sheath. And we get the standard belt that fits the larger 1.0 bodies. One problem I expected this figure to have was the shedding of the moss. This was just from taking it out of the package and giving the articulation a test. While not enough fell off to be noticeable, I am delicate with the figure and only time will tell how the moss will hold up. Bryophytus is a one of a kind figure in the Mythic Legion's toy line. The moss is a cool experiment on the figure, an oddity that hopefully leads into more experimental features for Mythic Legions. While the moss falling off was expected, it still makes me treat this figure extremely delicate, not wanting to damage any more of the moss. He comes with a good amount of accessories, three weapons and an alternate head, with some of the newer parts being the bare hands and feet new to the Aerithere wave. The value of accessories is there, but not wanting to ruin the moss locks him into some default poses, at least for me. Overall, a very fun character. The moss is definitely the selling point of the figure, and if you're okay with some shedding, displaying him with your collection will definitely liven it up. The figure does a great job resembling Mossman, and it's a great fit with the other He-Man homages. He is extremely rare, as the PowerCon exclusives are never going to be re-released, so keep your eye on the store drop, but he is a very unique figure to own. 
Alright guys, that's it for this review. More reviews are coming up soon, so check out my other videos while you wait.